Welcome to On Today's Ride. I'm Kieran and in this episode we're visiting Hell, as well as a lovely gravel ride through the newly planted rice fields. Final ride in Chiang Mai for, well, I don't know about this season, but certainly for the winter. I will be back, as ever. We've done some good cycling. We've done a couple of races. We've done a lot of kilometers. I think I've done, I've ridden nearly 3,000 kilometers in January, <laughs> which is definitely a record. Uh, and I don't see a break coming anytime soon because on Friday, we're off to Vietnam, to Da Nang City and Hoi An. Anyway, more on that when we get a bit nearer. Uh, I just want to get left down there, but I think we'll go straight on because there's a nice temple here. It's a really lovely old stupa, chedi, in a temple that I've only just discovered is quite near my house. They're everywhere. Someone said maybe 800 temples in Chiang Mai. I can believe it. Anyway, that's a lovely old chedi. And that temple is weirdly a shortcut. People sort of drive through there to <laughs> monks, <coughs> monks don't seem to mind. Okay, this will bring us out onto the main road, Changpot, uh, the beginning of the 107, and then we've got a, a tricky junction crossing and probably a long way to the lights, and then we'll get back into some small roads. Hear the coel birds, they seem to be very noisy at the moment. The Asian cuckoo, I'm particularly fond of. Excuse me, oh, after you. One of my favourite road signs. I think it's supposed to say dead end. <laughs> nice little graffiti street. graffiti on one side, little banana plantation on the other, <laughs> right in the middle of Chiang Mai. Okay, coming up to the junction of the Chiang Puk 107 with the super highway. Thai traffic lights are notorious for being extremely long, very slow phasing. Someone said they timed this the other day and if you just missed it, it's seven minutes <laughs> until it goes green again. It's no wonder that people jump the lights here. Once it goes red, you can expect a few more cars to slip through. Anyway, this one is red, so hopefully there's a lot of traffic here. See if we can slip through on the bike. Get to the front, because we're going to do a little maneuver when we get over. We're not actually going straight on and we're not going right. We're going to do a sort of weird straight on right. know when it's going green. Yeah. Okay, we've got to try and get across here. It's interesting. Okay, so we're across there, but now we've got to go straight on here. Which involves a bit of manoeuvring against the traffic. Everything's possible here. No one ever shouts at you. <laughs> they all do crazy shit as well. And then round the back, slip through here, cock and cup, and we're out. <laughs> that was a little bit busier than it normally is. And I would never take a group that way, but when you're by yourself, you can get away with all sorts of things. 
Okay, now we cut through the to the north of Santi Tam and head out for some gravel roads in the north and, as promised, a trip into hell. Okay, conditions are rose plantation. Conditions are still a bit weird. Still cloudy. Cool. It's 8:30. And it is, uh, what I would say is a rather chilly 19 degrees out. Uh, bananas for sale in the laundrette. I like these little neighbourhoods. Woman out doing a bit of early gardening. Birds are squawking. Well, we're about to get... Uh, this is, you think you're about running after me, doggy? No. Okay, we're about to get back onto a fairly main road. Okay, an early visit to 7-Eleven. Because I don't need anything, but I do need some change. Because there is a price of admission to hell. And that price of admission is 10 baht, and I don't have a 10 baht coin. All will become clear soon. Up and over the river. And then heading for Major Canal. Through the teak plantations. I like the way they're lining the whole road here. Teak trees, big leaves. So the rice has been planted, three dogs. Yeah, when I arrived they just sort of cropped a lot of the rice. And then it sort of just turned to a rather ugly, muddy phase. But now it's lovely, it's all been replanted for the next season of rice. More lotus plants, more teak trees. It's a lovely sort of agricultural area, there's all sorts of things growing. Okay, approaching the highway, main road, so we're going to have to do another manoeuvre. Basically running across, <laughs> there's a gap in the traffic. Nah, no, it's not that dangerous, it's not super busy. Just got to choose your time well. Alright, I'll just let you through then, shall I? <laughs> Almost run me over. There we go. Little gap. Run over one side. Over the other side. We're away. And the sun's out. Yay! Blue skies again. Haven't seen blue skies for a few days. Yeah, probably not going to get a lot of sympathy from uh, Northern Europe. Anyway. We haven't seen the blue skies for a few days, so it's very nice to have them back. Nice and clear out here, lovely red trails. Lots of colour. No birds right now, but I've certainly heard quite a lot of bird activity. Especially the koa, the uh, Asian cuckoo. Seems very active at the moment. Well, I think you'd have to say that this year is the year that gravel really kicked off in Chiang Mai. Last year, I was one of the few with a gravel bike. This year, more dogs. It's gone gravel crazy. Everyone's got gravel bikes, everyone's out gravel riding. I started a Facebook group for gravel riders. Uh, oh, and at this point I have to give a shout out to Sean KP, the route builder. Uh, not only designed this route, but Sean's one of those people who likes nothing better than to pour, well, say pour over maps, but nowadays it's pouring over Google Maps and Street View and Satellite and Google Earth trying to find good routes and he certainly found some good gravelly stuff so far. We've got a dog chase! half fast dog chase. Uh, he certainly found some good routes so far and this is one of them. So uh, long may that work continue. Also Eric and Peter have been exploring and finding good stuff. Me? I'm less interested in the map stuff. I just want to ride my bike. 
something you see quite a bit of sadly a little bit like everywhere same in the UK people fly tipping uh, in the nature you see it more when you're gravel riding that was a small one I've seen some big ones okay so although hell was the sort of headline part of this ride hell the trip to hell was actually merely an excursion a little side trip to hell because the main trip the main route is actually the three reservoirs ride the off-road version and this is the first of them Oh, there's, something, there's certainly something going on here. I've never seen quite so many song towers up here. So song towers are these red vehicles. Song tower actually literally means, let's see if we can look in the back of one. There we go. Song tower literally means two benches. Inside are two benches. <laughs> They're also known as Rodeng, a red car, although some are yellow, so that can get confusing. Anyway, Song Towers are basically a sort of major form of public transport here. Take you anywhere you want to go. Must be some excursion going on with all these. Okay, no motorbikes, but bicycles can go on the boardwalk. Quite exciting. Like being back at Schlendegla. Okay, this is a new addition to the route, Sean. Slightly rickety. About to get very steep. Quick change of gears, see if we can get up. Into the forest. Ooh, ooh. A bit of technical single track. Just what this route needed. Fantastic. Up and down. Quite rideable. Yeah, we're just sort of going around the lake. Back up again. I think we had to walk part of this last time, so let's see if we can get all the way around. Okay, that was the tour of the lake. <coughs> Completely unexpected. Really lovely. Really nice single track, very techy in places couple of trees down where I had to walk but I'd say I was able to ride 90-95% of it uh, definitely needs a bit of skill though it's uh, rocky and steep and loose and uh, quite excellent okay on to reservoir number two and a nice little much easier bit of single track through the woods now don't remember doing this last time when we done and when we did this so I'm guessing Sean's added this bit on he's, he's always tinkering with roots in a good way <laughs> until you get the perfect route okay that wasn't rideable as I was warned 30% ramp but brings you up to reservoir number two people out fishing there's normally lots of nice birds here can hear them. Big family of dogs. No, no puppies. Okay. A little bit nervous. Did you chase her? Not really. Anyway, slightly downhill. I can out sprint them. <laughs> okay. Lovely teak forest again. Back on a paved road for a while. And reservoir number three. Very quiet today. Let's see. I see one fisherman on the other bank. We, so last time we rode around, well I say rode around it, we did quite a lot of hacking through the jungle. So I don't think I'll bother today. That one is not, you know, it's kind of doable, but not really, not really worth it. Uh, okay, so that's the three reservoirs done. We've still got 35k to do, still got a bit more gravel, and we've still got a trip into hell to look forward to. Okay. Back onto the roads, but I'm going to stop for a drink in this little mom and pop shop, as we call them. Normally sell snacks, ice creams, cold drinks, and 
They normally have a little table outside so I can sit and have a drink. Pepsi, I think. Tadraka. Sipjet. 17 baht. So I've got 17 baht. There we go. You sit back. Kokon ka. Not particularly hungry, so I think I'll just make do with uh, a can of Coke. Can of Coke. Nice and cold. Ooh, it's starting to warm up a little bit. So the temperature is on the old bike computer. Is you know, 28, 29, so quite pleasant, I'd say. Nice little stretch along the canal, more teak trees, paved road on each side of the canal. That's very tight. <laughs> Though sometimes it's paved one side and unpaved the other side for us gravelists. Here we go. Here's a nice example of canal, paved road one side, nice dirt road the other. No cars. Cow in the path. Sorry, madam. That's it. Good girl. Yeah, just move those back legs out of the way. <laughs> Don't want to get kicked. Finally, the gates of hell. Do, do, do. Entrance fee, 10 baht. and into hell okay just to be clear it's not really hell you know some people are very gullible nowadays this is a buddhist depiction of hell now why they have depictions of hell we'll come back to in a minute i've never been here before so let's take it in all sorts of gruesome images Yeah, you get the idea. Ooh, look. Bit of torture. Demons. Yeah, so the basic idea behind it is, well, it's, uh, how do you control the people? Well, through fear. Fear and reward, that's how most world religions work. So, you know, if you do good stuff in this life, don't steal, give to charity, don't screw your neighbor's wife, etc etc then there's in most religions there's some sort of image of heaven and if you're a bad boy you go to hell now the difference with the buddhist hells is they're extremely well documented in the Pali canon it's not just a, a mention here and there all of these images here are sort of depictions of what was written in the Pali canon of torture of all the different types of hell the different levels of hell including the Avicii Hells, the Cold Hells. Okay, so that was Buddhist Hell. Uh, I think that was worth the 10 baht entrance fee, 20p. Uh, I can imagine the locals taking their kids there to scare the bejesus out of them, if you don't mind the mixed metaphor. <laughs> and I suspect it would work. Okay, 30k back into town, spot of luncheon, uh, and then i got to get ready for Vietnam, my next stop. So get the bike washed, start thinking about packing a few things up. Okay. A little bit of highway action. Not so pleasant, got to be done at times. Not super busy though. On to the 1001, heading back into Chiang Mai. to Vanilla Residence, which is a kind of cyclist hotel, but has a few amenities, which is quite useful, like a little workshop. But also, there's a young lad here. Uh, Lang. Oh, okay. Yeah? Cham Mong? Cham Sip, Okay. Cough, cough, 
Okay, what's for lunch? Back in kin pack. Kin pack. Eat vegetables. <laughs> in Thai. And I'm having the yellow curry. I'm addicted to this stuff. Potatoes and tofu and shiitake mushrooms in a really very tasty, spicy, creamy coconut sauce. I'm gonna tuck in. One, two, three. Black cat is the friendliest. It's very sweet. Hello, black cat. Makes a scratch. White cat will accept a scratch, but pretends he doesn't like it. And ginger cat just wants to sleep. So I think this episode episode may be a little bit more cat heavy than usual even because as of Friday I'll be leaving the land of cats which is Thailand and going to the land of no cats in Vietnam sadly. <laughs> Hello. And back into town, back into Santa Town. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that little trip into hell. Uh, up to see the reservoirs, a nice little gravel ride and the last three months in Thailand. And now we got to get ready for something completely different. And just like that, we're in Da Nang City, Vietnam. <laughs> 